it's 5 a.m. starting a battery capacity test I'm gonna run I'm gonna run it in the battery mode until the battery runs out let's see what the true capacity of these batteries are update later we are now four hour four hours in battery capacity test right now it's 9 a.m we'll see how it goes from here it is 507 12 hours and 7 minutes since the test has started I have went through almost 12 kilowatts worth of power from a battery pack and I'm still drawing around kilowatt to 2 kilowatts depending on what we are doing we were out from 10 30 till about right now um, 11.8 kilowatts let's see how long does it last we are at our 14 we are doing at about 2.2 kilowatts right now we have consumed 15.2 kilowatt hours from a battery pack so far voltage is down to 51 volt we'll see how long this lasts we are at our 15 battery voltage at 50.3 volts total amount of power consumed is 17.3 kilowatt hours rated capacity left 53.1 amp hours it keeps going we'll see where we end at I'm not stopping until this stops hour 16 48.6 volts on a battery 19 kilowatt hours consumed so far running at 2 kilowatts right now 19.7 amp hours left I'll see how far this goes 19.6 kilowatt hours used is switched to house power is gonna start charging charging at 3 kilowatt hours so check the other parameters too we ran for 16 hours and 20 minutes back to charging and I will add a couple more things there are a couple of things that I would like to see changed in the watch power since the new version sp3 has been released a day or two ago i downloaded it but i don't see any improvements other than adding one more line to the um, information on the right i would like to see that both combined output of both inverters is included uh, especially where it says output apparent power line one output apparent power line line two and same for active power line one and line two and a low percentage at certain and at certain time it only shows one inverter at a time and the only combined information that you can see is total output active power it doesn't show separately for both lines that's the one of the first things that I would like to see changed. Another thing that I would like to see changed is battery voltage. Okay, right now you see 56.1 volts, so, uh, showing 56.1 volts or 56.2 volts on line two, doesn't matter. The true output voltage, as you can see, is 56.7 volts which is on the picture on your left side of the screen um, the opposite is true when you are discharging when you're discharging it will show about half a volt uh, difference 
during your discharge time and when it's charging it shows about half a volt more i am sure that this machine can have firmware updated and those things can be calibrated properly those are about the first two things that i would like to see changed another thing that i would like to see changed is including the information of power consumed power generated in one day uh, those maybe could be included let's say right underneath this uh, little uh, animation on the left side showing where the power is coming from and where is it going and how's it going maybe that could be included too now the good thing is MPP Solar released a um, communication protocol document, PDF, attached on their website that you can download. It basically says uh, communication protocol, build your own software to monitor this. Um, I am not good at coding, I'm not good at programming, I'm good at hardware, but programming is lack of skills. I don't know is anybody out there that they could uh, use this software to program a script or a program or something that will monitor consumption and maybe create a nice graph as to what are we creating when generating solar power what are we what are we doing when we consuming and what uh, what not and maybe put it in a, in a good looking graphs or, or something to that extent that would be really nice those are kind of things that i would like to see changed in mpp solar software the whole reason for making this video is i was doing the battery capacity test to see what i can get out of my batteries it would have been nice if i was able to see what's going on through the watch power or inverters themselves to see what's consumed and what's theoretically left maybe if we input the uh, total amp power capacity and i was wanting to see if we could have everything in one place instead of chasing everything around with the voltmeters with the amp meters with the with the battery capacity monitors it would be nice to have everything in one place and proceed from there and especially if we could have it displayed on our you know computers or at least the android phones or apple iphones or whatever it is that would be a one nice thing to see and um, the first part of this video as of course you saw it was my battery capacity test these batteries are doing outstanding and um, we will see what we could do with them going on in the future i'm actually planning of getting another battery pack built just like this one so once i get my uh, solar panels approved um, we would be we would be almost completely self-sufficient when it comes to generating and using the power now guys i understand these things gets expensive and it's probably going to take you know my grandchildren to pay off all of this that I'm spending money on but that's not the point it's it's the, the point is I am trying to be self-sufficient I would like to be more energy independent if that makes sense um, let's see how it goes hopefully you like this video it's nothing special just the progress uh, and um, I'll try to make more coherent videos in the future I'm just trying to uh, vent my frustrations as to why all of these things cannot be combined into one software, one package piece of software we could monitor everything in, in real time. Um, hopefully uh, some of you who are good at coding and whatnot will probably be able to create something for us.